How's it going YouTube? You guys are back with Next Tech Edit. And today I have another video for you guys. Um, if you watched the last video that I posted, you know I'm going to be doing some benchmarks. And that's what today's video is actually going to be all about. So I'm going to run three tests hopefully in this video. Heaven, Cinebench, and I believe Black Magic. This will be being tested on the i5, 6 core, 16 gigabytes of RAM, and 256 solid state um, Mac Mini. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started. All right, so like I said, we're gonna start off with Heaven here. We're gonna run this. All right, let me fix that. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and run this. Let's throw this into full screen. English, uh, we'll go extreme for the sake of this, and I'm gonna let it let it do its thing. I guess here we go. All right, so I gotta press run. Oh, I gotta do a damn thing. All right, this is pretty bad. So running it at extreme, uh, you can see five frames per second up there. Running at 42 Celsius. That's bad. But I don't know what else you'd want to expect out of Intel um, integrated graphics either. I'm gonna throw the quality down here to high. Doesn't look like it did anything. Medium. Oh, it's reloading. That's pretty bad. All right, so I think this is running in medium. And it's really not much smoother. Let's see, we'll throw this on low. <clears throat> Alright, so running heaven on low is even pretty bad. A few more frames, but I'm going to cut that one there because that's pretty bad. So that's the heaven benchmark, but it is graphics intensive here. I'm not even going to let that program run. Okay, so next we're going to run Cinebench. Let's see, we'll open that up. It keeps giving me issues. String resource not found. Resource. Ah. All Let's see. Didn't like me taking it out of the file. So we're gonna run it out of here. Open. All right, so <clears throat> I'm gonna have to look into this. Like I said, I'm not familiar with any of this, but it says I'm running a three core, six thread processor, which. Can I change that? So, unless I'm smoking something here, we're gonna go to Apple's website. And like I said, I may just be ignorant because I don't know 100% what this is checking, but if I go to the Mac Mini, hit buy. I purchased this six core processor, six generation, six core, eighth generation i5 processor. All right, so I must be smoking something, but we're gonna run a test on the CPU here using Cinebench.
So the um, Mac Mini's fans kicked in. I don't know if you could hear them, but that is blowing some air out of the back of that Mac Mini. All right, so as you can probably see, it says 811CB, and it's ranking it at the fourth under an Intel Xeon 5650. And I guess it's kind of expected. It's even running it at a um, under an i7 fourth generation unlocked processor and a third generation. Huh, that's pretty bad. And I'm pretty sure the OpenGL was the same thing Heaven did, so I don't even know if I want to run this test. I, mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to be looking for. I know it's doing all its calculations, but I mean, it looks pretty smooth to me, even though, of course, the graphics on that aren't anything special, but it seems smooth. So, and of course this is running it on the, again, the UHD graphics, the built-in 27 frames per second, and it's rating it as the sixth tier, I mean under a GeForce GTX 460 and even under a GT 650M. But again, dedicated graphics versus integrated graphics, so I'm not big on any of that. It's just more for you guys. I may have to look into what's going on with the cores, again, unless I'm just being stupid towards it. Um, so yeah, we have one more test to run real quick. Let me get rid of that program. Let me cancel out of heaven here. And then, let's see, black magic. This is gonna be a disk speed test, so we'll start that. Being an SSD, I, I guess I would consider that to be up there, so let's see. So will it work? It's gonna do ProRes 422, and it works all the way up to 2160 at 60 frames per second, so that works, because I do a lot of the 4K stuff anyways. Um, I mean, you read and write speeds, you can kind of see for yourself there. And that's with Blackmagic Design. I have been using uh, DaVinci Resolve just because I haven't purchased Final Cut Pro yet. I don't know if I'm going to, but if I can't do what I want with DaVinci Resolve, which I'm sure I can, I just have to relearn everything, then I'll just buy it and switch over. Either way, they're roughly the same price um, if you're using the education discount for Final Cut Pro. So yeah, that's gonna be the benchmark test. I'm gonna edit this for you guys real quick, hopefully. It wasn't anything amazing, and again, this isn't graphics oriented, it's a built-in integrated graphics card. So I guess I shouldn't have expected much to begin with, but this is more for you guys to see the test on it. Um, I don't have anything on this computer other than DaVinci Resolve, so yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, sorry for not looking at the camera as much. I've been trying to look at the, the numbers as well. Thank you guys for watching and keep an eye out for more videos as I got this to help me make more videos because my MacBook that's sitting over here wasn't cutting it. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Oh, don't forget to subscribe.